So what I'm going to show you today is just a quick little addition to the previous video on animations. So I showed you how you make an animation that goes something like this, where you click on something and it disappears. You click on that one and it reappears. Now, if you've got a really, really complicated animation, really, really complicated PowerPoint that's got loads of questions on, maybe it's like a, a Jeopardy style game, or maybe um, you just have lots of animations, lots of triggers, it's a little bit complicated if you've got rectangle 5, rectangle 6, rectangle 7, 50 rectangles. So an easier way of managing that is if you click and go to shape format and go to the selection pane, you can see you've got names of everything. So you can start renaming, so I could actually say rectangle 6 is um, the F-Box, rectangle 5 is Paris Box, now let's move that, rectangle 3 is correct, rectangle 4 is incorrect, put that back, now you see in your animation pane it now says on the trigger of clicking the Paris Box, it's going to disappear on the trigger of the F box is going to disappear. Now you might have it so something reappears. So you could say on the trigger of um, the correct answer box being clicked, something else might happen. You might come up and show you like a big well done, something like that. It's a really quick one, but using the selection pane is really, really useful when you're making quite complicated animations. Hopefully that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.